what kind of heavenly messages do I have for you today? Now these could be messages from passed on loved ones or from angels or from the etheric realm, but these are messages from heaven that want to come through for you today. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Luna. I am your Oracle of Starlight. I channel messages from archangels, star beings, and highest light spirit guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light, and I am here to get you to your highest timeline, that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, please go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love with the world and grow my channel, for which I am ever so grateful. I'll have three images, three cards for you to choose from today, three images for your messages from heaven, and I'll go ahead and pick some charms for you as well. So I'll go ahead and put those up on the, on the screen for you now, and I'm going to run this third eye chakra bowl to help you choose, and then I'll go ahead and pick a few charms as well. Here we go. So take a deep breath in. And breathe out and see which image you most resonate with. Now you may have messages in more than one group as is often the case. So if more than one is calling to you, be sure to check that out. And I'm going to go ahead and get you some charms for each of these groups as well. I know I have messages from past on loved ones wanting to come through. So let's see, for group number one, what kind of charms do you have for group number one? A butterfly? A guitar? A wheel? And double hearts. So this is the charms for group number one. Let's go ahead and get some charms for group number two. We have a little arrow through a heart that says love. We have the tree of life. We have a dice for good luck. Let's see what we roll. We roll two. Two for partnership. We have a butterfly, a butterfly. We have the Eiffel Tower. And we have a leaf. Go ahead and get a few charms for group number three. We've had a butterfly in every group, so we have a butterfly again. We have a tree, another tree. We have the Hansa sign. We have a puppy paw print or kitty paw print, animal paw print, some kind of animal paw print. We have a treble clef. We have a four leaf clover. I almost called it a good luck charm. <clears throat> so somebody might have been into good luck charms. And then we have a turtle. And those are the charms for group number three to help you decide. And if you want to stick around, we can talk for a little bit. Whoever wants to stick around. Um, I know for those of you that have been following along, I had just was telling you guys I was just moving into my new home and I just got settled in, you guys. And I'm so excited, you would not believe. I never saw the home before I moved in. Um, I never got to see this beautiful home. I was told about it, <laughs> but I never got to see it. So on my first day, um, it was very, very incredible. And this was one of the easiest moves that I ever have done. And not to say that it wasn't stressful or worried or a lot of work, uh, or I said rushed, I don't mean worried. Uh, someone else was worried, <laughs> there was worry. Um, or a lot of work, it was a lot of work. We did put a lot of effort into it, but it was, um, honestly the easiest move I've ever had in my life and I've been moving my entire life so it was so nice to get into this space this space is so incredible um, I'm I'm recording in a nude space I don't know if you can tell I hope I don't sound too strange um, but yeah oh I forgot to say I have the links below in the description didn't I well there's links below if anybody wants to go choose your cards <laughs> But it's just been a magical, it's been a magical journey. This, uh, this house is really incredible. It's honestly the biggest room I've ever 
stayed in, biggest room I've ever lived in. I had personally for myself. It's huge and I have like this suite of a bathroom and the out the yard is amazing, you guys. I got to go, I've been walking to the park because I lived in apartments. I've been walking to the park to go do my earthing and lay on the grass and now I have a huge yard full of grass. It's huge, my yard is so big and it's just all grass everywhere. And so it's been so sunny and nice. Um, and so I was able to go out and lay in my yard on a blanket for the first time yesterday. And then I did it a little bit again today. Actually today, I didn't even use a blanket. I just went and threw myself down <laughs> on the grass in my fuzzy pants and my jacket, which I got little, uh, little bits of grass all over me <laughs> when I got up. But it felt so amazing to earth in my own yard. Um, and everything just looks magical. The frequencies are different here. Uh, the vibes are different. It feels so relaxing and nice and I really think this is a beautiful place for me to grow and I'm just ever so grateful so I wanted to share that with you guys there's been so much magic and synchronicities through this portal and I'm just excited to share more with you guys really soon I think I had something else to talk about but I've just been so distracted <laughs> with my house it's all I can think of right now it's really it's really incredible and I just feel so very blessed I feel so very blessed. I haven't had, I know I've lived in so many houses. This one has um, closet space. It has, I don't know how many women out there have had this deal with not enough closet space. I don't know what happened. They stopped making enough closet space in the houses and the apartments. <laughs> But there's closet space everywhere. There's a utility closet. There's linen closets. I'm just, I'm just, I'm over the moon with the closet space, <laughs> over the moon and the yard, and just the feel of the home. And we have this lovely fireplace. It's a gas fireplace, but we get to. I love sitting in front of the fire, like on Christmas Eve. I don't even really celebrate holidays that much. I just do it for fun uh, when I want to. It's my own personal thing. What I want to do, and um, I love on Christmas Eve. It was something I always liked to sit in front of the fire and drink hot cocoa and have like some family time. So I'm really excited about having a fire and being able to drink hot cocoa, maybe on Christmas Eve. Hopefully that's when we'll be doing it. <laughs> and having own, my own yard. It's it's so incredible. Um, thank you guys all for your beautiful comments and your well wishes. Um, I'm just so grateful and I feel so blessed to get such sparkly energy from you guys and have and to have be able to connect with my soul family star family, which I never have. I never have have you guys so it's been so this is so beautiful to connect it's so beautiful to connect like this so thank you so much for sending me all this light and love i'm just listening i just was listening to the council of light and doing what i was told <laughs> but i'm really happy i'm so excited and happy to be here it was kind of nervous to get into this state you know to send myself into this to um expose myself to the world i've been so hidden for so long hidden away and i've been hidden away in my studies and i um, so I'm just so happy to hear, be here and share this with these magical, magical, mystical, energetic things with you guys. I'm so happy to do that. So again, I have a three, these three groups to choose from. Here's your charms again. I'm going to go ahead and sweep them away. I'll have those links below in the description and I'll see you guys in your group. I'm again, uh, I love all your likes and comments. I haven't had a chance to answer all of the comments from last time um, as, as I started moving. And then I was just so wiped out when I finally got here. Oh, and my gosh, did you guys know that that big, huge solar flare hit? It hit the day, um, the day I was moving in, that huge solar flare. So yeah, I've been <laughs> recuperating from that as well. But I will uh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm sending you guys so much light and love. I love you guys. I'll have some awesome readings for you today. These are messages from heaven. I'm so excited. And the next reading I'm going to do is messages from Archangel Metatron. So we've got some even more exciting messages coming in. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Okay, I'll see you guys in your group. Hello and welcome to group number one. If you chose card number one or image number one, you chose this beautiful image. And I'll, I'll go ahead and put that on my phone here so you guys can see it. Please, please don't mind the, uh, the tree sage that's playing. I'll turn it down so it's not too loud here in front of my microphone. But these are my frequencies to connect with heaven. We have the 333 and the 999 for the spirit realm playing. I do feel messages from passed on loved ones that want to come through. Let me go ahead and tap in for you, group number one. Group number one, by the way, they're showing me the image of a cross. 
and I'm seeing an angel. I'm whatever loved ones that are wanting to come through. I feel they are very connected Christically. They are connected to God. I uh, loved God very much and they are coming through from heaven. And then I see an angel. So I've got some angel messages for you here as well. I feel again that you are an earth angel. You are a cherubim, a seraphim. You are some kind of earth angel sent here, sent here to earth. And Ascended Master, you came here to do a job, and this job may have been heavy on you. It may have been a lot of burden. I feel that you were very connected cosmically. That I feel this beautiful cosmic connection and connection to star beings. Your third eye open, you have great intuition that's guiding you forward and showing you the way, way to go. Now, you may have had past lives as an angel, so I do feel angelic beings that are coming through, that are coming through to speak with you today as well to tell you about what's going on. They're wanting me to pull some cards. I've got a completely different setup now, you guys, so we'll see how this works out. I hope it all works out well. I do want to let you know that they had me sprinkle this lace agate, this blue lace agate all over my setup here. Do you see it? This beautiful blue lace agate. Now, this was something they had me do. Now, I think this blue lace agate could be special. I have some special meaning. For these messages that want to come through, perhaps someone really loved blue lace agate, or it had, could have something to do with someone's name, and I'm hearing Agatha. There could be an Agatha here. Oh yes, there's an Agatha there. I have chills all over. There's an Agatha here. I have strength here. Strength. They're wanting you to have strength. They feel that you have become very strong. You have become very strong. I've got chills all over. Very strong through all these trials you have gone through as you walk through this earth. Very strong. And they're wanting to give you more words of strength to help you on your journey to the world, to the world. It says the tide comes in, bringing a sense of fulfillment and completion as you start over. So perhaps you're starting over now. For some of you, this could be the case. You're starting over. This is a new beginning. And they know you're standing in your strength. And they're here to, to feed you more strength, to lend you strength. This is them showing me as this, uh, this tiger, as you're holding the tiger, is this as you were the tiger and they're holding you. They're holding you and giving you this strength because they love you. And they're so proud of everything that you've done. You've worked so hard. You've been this fiery, fiery tiger, this snowy tiger, Arctic tiger, Siberian tiger, this star. I'm feeling some big cat energy here. It's taking you to the world, this wheel of fortune, this wheel, this wheel of karma. Possibly you came to get rid of the karma on earth to walk, work through karma. For some of you, this may be the case. I see she's looking up at the karmic wheel here, looking up at the wheel of fortune to spin the wheel of fortune, taking you to the world, taking you to completion and fulfillment. It's going to bring you completion and fulfillment. You're coming into a completion and fulfillment time. Now this, this, these loved ones, I'm seeing the letters A, D, C, E, B. I had M and L come in as well through earlier. Now these could be letters anywhere in the name or anywhere in your name. But I do feel that there's a guitarist here. There's someone who played music. For someone, there's someone who played music for you to lull you to sleep because they're showing me my dad um, playing guitar for me when I was little and the sound soothing me. So someone played guitar for you. For someone in particular, they want you to know that they're here giving you strength. Your loved ones are showing me the hearts. Your loved ones are here giving you strength. They're taking you to the world. Look, we had the world come out twice. That's incredible. This is a completion, a beautiful completion. They're showing me the four. They're showing me the cherubim, the faces of the cherubim as an angelic path and you being surrounded by angels right now. The Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. A new passionate beginning in manifestation I'm hearing. A new passionate beginning and manifestation that you were, it's going to be taking you to the world. Look, we have the world twice. I think you're going to be really big in the world. Oh my gosh, it's taking you to this 10 of cups. This beautiful, happy family and fulfillment. 
And this is fulfillment here. It's taking you to fulfillment. Look at this. This fire is being lit within you. This Kundalini rising. This dragon fire. I have two cards that fell on the floor with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. I feel there's some new information coming in to help you with your money situation, to help you with your finance. There's a new beginning in finances. And this is new information coming in, new information. You could be getting new ideas, new ideas that are going to, that are going to uh, grow your abundance. And these new ideas are divinely guided. They are divinely led. And this is why your family is around you, giving you strength. For someone, this is family. I said family. <laughs> it just came out. I didn't mean to say it. For someone, this is family. Okay, they're having me pull some Earth Alchemy Oracle cards now. You might be investing. You might have some new information in investing. You might be thinking about investing. Thinking about stocks or day trading. The green man in moss agate, ritual and ceremony. I feel like you might be doing some rituals and ceremonies to bring in your abundance as well. If you are, these are very profitable. This is just a, a call that these are going to be very profitable for you. I do feel that this tree energy, this strong consent to the tree of life, and I've been feeling this awakening here on the earth, just full, full on. I've always been connected to the trees, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it awakening for everyone that this connection to the trees, the trees are becoming more strong. There are new spirit guides coming in for you and new wisdom and it's coming from the trees. It's coming from the woods. You could have messages in my Norwegian, messages from the Norwegian woods. It's funny, but I know I just did. Odin told me he had some messages and I went back and I listened to the messages that I had from Odin and it was so trippy, you guys, interdimensional of me telling myself and everything was synchronistic and everything was perfect. It flowed and, and I was like, thank you, Odin. I was almost crying, <laughs> the touching, touched by the message that I myself in another, <laughs> another time was giving and another reality and another, and another place. There's no such thing as time. We all live in the moment. There's no such thing as linear time. Time is not linear. At their, time is not linear. They are still here with you, they're telling me. They are still here with you. Time is not linear. They are still here with you. This is a message for someone. I have the straw model light and fern, akasha. You're connecting to your akashic records now through this tree wisdom that's coming on. It's stripping back, simplifying, and looking to your origins. You're learning more about your origins. This is this is your ancestors calling. This is your ancestors coming through. You have you are surrounded by ancestors right now. With the rose quartz and olive tree, it's taking you to love. This is the alchemy of love, peace offering, compassion, and Venus energy. This is where you're going. This is what they're this is what they're cementing around you. They're giving you this love alchemy. This is healing the wounds from the ancestral line. The Akashic Records. Lori, I need some lotion on my hands. <laughs> you might need to hydrate. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought about the lotion, but maybe somebody liked lotion. This is a call for something. The lotion came out, so that's really funny. <laughs> They're wanting me to get some alchemy cards now. And I need to get some archetype cards as well, I feel. Scintillate, sparks of light, scintillate, uh, these sparks of light, they're energizing you, they're activating you, they want you to know that they're surrounding you with these sparks of light. Look with this Akasha and the ritual, the green man, the, the green, the uh, new spirit guides coming in, these trees, this wisdom, these star beings that are surrounding your ancestors, they're, they're filling with these sparks of light, they're taking you to the world. This is what it's doing, it's igniting this fire. It's giving you strength. It's beautiful. I feel it beautiful. Your be this beautiful seer, this sage, this uh, this oracle, this alchemist, this magical being, this fairy, this mermaid. With the um, caput corvi and raven's head. This is the raven's head. Caput corvi, the raven's head. This is here. This is shamanic work that you are doing. This is healing bloodlines. And you've got this bit of wisdom. It's got wisdom within it. Speak this shadow. Uh, this this shamanic force, it has wisdom within its beak. It is giving you wisdom. So this light and this, uh, this inner shaman, this shadow work. Some of you are doing shadow work. I feel some of you are defeating shadow forces as well. I feel that you are protected from these shadow energies. 
with the light. It's protecting you from the dark. Now take this how it resonates. I don't always feel the ravens as being dark, but that's what I'm feeling right now. This light protecting you from the negative, the negative magic. The raven is magical. The negative magic and viewing. Someone's trying to view you. Um, someone's trying to remote view you and it's protecting. There's a light shield around you. It's protecting you from remote views at this time. This is a message for someone. So take this how it resonates. I've got different messages coming in for different people. They wanted me to pull some crystal medicine oracle cards now. I'm seeing, I'm hearing the letters C and E again. And B. R and H I'm hearing now as well. Rhodonite, reflection. Oh, that's funny because there's the R and H right here. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Rhodonite, is there like a Rhonda, um, Rudy, there's a... Rachel, Rebecca, there's R, R, and H. Helen? Helen? Um, yes, I'm hearing these names. Reflection. This is the winter, the 22. This is bringing you to this, this, it's bringing you, I'm hearing it's bringing you to this partnership, this level of meeting partners together. Now this could be a soul family, star family. This doesn't have to be romantic partnership, but I feel this could be ro I'm feeling a romantic partner here. Now, someone has a passed on loved one that was a romantic partner. I've got chills all over. I've got a 22. And I'm, I'm getting the letters D, E, and A. They could be anywhere in the, the name. Now, that it could be in your name as well. This, uh, this could be for anyone. I'm hearing I and E as well. I already said E. This E keeps coming through. Maybe there's two E's. Maybe someone has two E's in their name. Okay, this is a reflection of the winter. So through this winter, there's a reflection of you're reflecting on what's been going on. These these lights are being reflected back on you. You're looking into the Akashic records, looking into your past lives, looking into this shamanic wisdom, maybe healing with the trees. For all of you, this is different, but you're going deep within. You might not be doing this all the time, but this is uh, through the winter, there is a reflection of you looking looking back of everything that you've done, everything that you've gone through. There's a love here. There is a strong love of a loved one that is passed on and they're sending you, they're sending you so much love. Love and brilliance. I want you to get some charms here. Real quick. Love. Yes, it's love with a, uh, it's a heart with a, with a rose on it. It's a very special love, a tender love. This one, oh, I've got chills. This could be a child as well. I'm feeling a, yes, there's a child. There's a few children that have passed on that are here as well that are in this reflection for the winter. Um, so we've got angels. We've got them praying for you. We've got them as being your little angels and watching over you. I'm almost in tears. They're little angels. They're little angels watching over you. Light workers, they are light workers. They're giving you this light, and they're wanting me to pull this out. So they're wanting me to pull this gem. This is comfort. They're bringing you comfort. They are bringing you comfort, and I'm hearing the H again and E. There's like a Helen or something here. Herbie. There must be a Helen here because I keep hearing, hearing Helen very well. Helen is very strong. <laughs> Helen's Helen's got it going on. Let's get one of these arch or, um here we go archetype cards. I'm feeling. Are there any more messages for anyone in group number one? Oh, that one flipped over and then right back the self. Take care of yourself. Did it flip over in my deck? No, it's okay. We'll keep shuffling. Oh, the king and the hunter flipped over. The self, the king, the hunter. Hunter. I'm hearing the name hunter. I was having age come through. Hunter came through. The mask. The mask. They say you're taking off your mask now and you're seeing beyond the mask. You're seeing beyond the mask and they're showing me the darkness as well as this, the shadow behind 
the darkness behind the void. The void is going to have some meaning. They're showing me the void. Now this mask also could have some meaning for this special uh, message, this person that's wanting to come through. Because I'm seeing that maybe there was a, maybe they liked wearing a mask. There was a special mask. Well, there was like a masquerade party. A masquerade party. I do feel that there's a message for about a masquerade party happening right now. Or there's, oh, sorry, ha I didn't mean to say happening right now. There could be one happening right now. There's one happening in the future. There's something about a masquerade, a, a mask. M-A-S-Q-U-E, a mask, a mask. Um, and I'm hearing mosque too. So possibly someone's going to the mosque or they're connecting with you at the mosque or there's something at the mosque because I'm seeing the void, I'm seeing the dark. Okay, so take these how it resonates because there's different messages coming through. 61, someone could be 61 or was 61 or was born in 61 or 61 uh, was their birth date, 61. Someone could have been 22. The mirror, the mirror. Now I'm feeling like you might actually, for some of you, and take this how it resonates, but the message I'm getting here is that you're seeing them in the mirror, the mask in the mirror. You may see them in the mirror. You might see yourself in them. You maybe saw yourself in them, and this could have been an, uh, this could have been a, um, what's the word, a mentor, someone you looked up to, as well, as a partner. There's um, a reflection going on, and they're showing you a reflection. Now that's what they're showing me the reflection here. They're showing you the reflection, the mirror to take off the masks. If there are any masks left, if there's anything you're holding on to still, um, to be your true self, to be your true self and to see behind the mask. So you're seeing beyond the veil, you're seeing behind the curtain and there's m new information coming in for you this winter. New information, you are so protected by the angels. They're bringing you this beautiful comfort space full of light, full of light and productivity. You're going to be more productive. This is a just beautiful message. Beautiful message. Let me see how long I've been reading. I figured it'd been a little bit. I saw 1823 and then 1824. 23 or 24. These could be numbers that have importance. Oh, it, the year 23. And then the year 24. Um, so this is what's happening right now. They were just showing me that 18 could be a number. Someone could have been 18 or a bit of might have had a birth date of 1-8 or the 18th. Okay. I think this is all the messages I have. Let me go ahead and get you an Angels of Abundance card and see if they have anything else to tell you guys. They want me to do a Spirit of the Animals work. Okay, so I'm going to do one of those. We've got Released Resentments About Money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. And they were showing me again as it flying over Christmas, New Year's, solstice. So take this how it resonates, but it's going to be flying over these resentments about money. This Archangel Ariel is coming through again. Archangel Ariel. Now she has some messages that she's been wanting to get out. So I might have messages from her soon, but she is coming through to help you release the resentments of money and bless you with abundance. Archangel Ariel is very strong here. I knew I had an angel that was wanting to come through. I just flipped these cards all around, guys. I don't know what they did. Let me try this again. <laughs> Let me get, okay guys. Uh, just, oh, there we go. It came out. Elephant. Greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. And this is just a confirmation. Greatness, great strength, and success. You're going to achieve success. You've got this fulfillment, this ten of cups energy you're going to there's some beautiful new information coming in. They're going to be showing you some cool things this winter. You were protected and you were kept safe. It's energizing you. They're telling me that it's energizing you. They're saying galactic, galactic energizing, galactic activations, galactivations, galactic activations. 
that's giving you this rainbow light and it's taking you out of the darkness. And they're showing me a portal in the spring. So there's going to be a special portal in the spring that's taking you somewhere incredible. Taking you to almost a new world. Uh, a, different, a different state of mind, a different way of looking at things, a different state of being. So take this how it resonates because I'm hearing all of those. And I'm hearing the name Laura. Laura. And Sally. There is a Sally here too. Okay, I have all the messages for you guys, group number one. I'm sending you all the light and love. Let me know how it resonates. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know um, if any of the letters, names, things that came through, how they resonate with you, because I would love to hear. I know that I had a lot of loved ones here that had messages that wanted to come out. So I was really excited to share this with you guys. I'm sending you all the light and love, and I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose card number two or image number two, you chose this beautiful image. And I'll go ahead, I've got it on my phone here. Y'all, please forgive my little tree stage thing going on. And I just realized that I did not, um, I didn't burn anything here. So we're gonna go ahead and burn some mullion real quick for you. And and I feel now is the time to do it. That's what Spirit was telling me. So here we go. Ooh, this beautiful blue smoke. Okay, we're going to bless this reading. We're going to cleanse any negative energy. Then you or your surroundings. This is a power protective and cleansing energy. There we go. I made these mullion sticks myself. And then we're just gonna burn a tiny bit of sage here too. We're gonna bless this reading and we're gonna bless you. There we go. Okay. All right, now let me go ahead and tap in for you. Smoke's just gonna fill away there. Group number two, for your messages from heaven. Group number two, I am seeing a cross, then I see flowers. I see a cross and then I see flowers. And now I'm seeing lots of flowers, flowers, and now they're showing me stars. And I was hearing the name Lily. For someone, there is a Lily here. Lily, Lillian, Liliana, Lily. I'm hearing the name Lily. Lily of the Valley, Lily of the Valley could be an important uh, flower. It could be an important flower. I was seeing a lot of flowers. I was feeling the cross as in someone really loved God. And then I was seeing a cross and flowers like someone really loved flowers. And then I was seeing a cross and flowers like someone was passed on. So I definitely have passed on loved ones here. It looks like there is a lover here that's passed on. That has a message for you. The separation that they are watching over you from heaven. The Three of Cups, they're helping to get you to this community. So you are expanding, you are connected to the Tree of Life. Now with this tree, I feel that your ancestors are helping you through this. I feel that you are very connected to the sun and sun energies. So I have Ra and Egyptian activations happening here, is what I'm feeling from there showing me the card, the card, the image that you chose. And it's activating you cosmically. You're getting some cosmic activations right now. That's actually taking you. They're showing me like a new beginning, a new life. Oh, they're showing me the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. Happy family and completion. So this is a celebration. This is a celebration. You have done it. 
And now for some of you, take this to what resonates. I know there's passed on loved ones here, but they're also showing that they're watching over from heaven for this partnership or of loved ones, of lovers, of and this could be community, this could be um, sisters, brothers, this is, could be soul family, star family. They're watching over, they're celebrating. They're celebrating going to this beautiful Ten of Cups energy. They're celebrating. They're celebrating this sun energy that's come through to energize you. They're celebrating your manifestations. Your incredible manifestation skills. They're celebrating you. And you're surrounded by sparkles. They're showing you all this sparkly light, this scintling light. So you could have messages in group number one. The scintillate of light, that's what they're showing me. Of you being energized with all these sparkles around you. The ace of swords, there's new information coming in. This is a new beginning with new information. New information, you are being shown the way. You may have already started to this new beginning. Yes, they're showing me this new beginning. Is you in the sun power. It's you with these raw codes. It's you with this light, this cosmic energy that is flowing without you. They're showing me the crown as you are chosen. Is they're they're giving you this crown? You were chosen. You've got your soul of light. You've got your um. You've got your you're a warrior. You're a divine warrior. I feel very warrior energy. I'm also feeling like gypsy energy and shaman energy, but I feel gypsy energy in this one as well. Gypsy. They're showing me the laurels as you are guaranteed success. I'm seeing ADE, I'm getting, and I'm hearing like Adelaide, Adelaide, um, Adele. Maybe somebody really liked listening to Adele. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, they're helping you to um, keep your money in balance. There was like, there was this thing where you're having to really take care of your money. You're really having to fend off from attacks. You're really having to protect it. You've been having to protect your money. There was some trickery, some, maybe some lies, maybe some burdens. Maybe we're at the end of your rope. Maybe you felt like you couldn't fight back anymore. There was judgment for these energies. You, you pronounced judgment on these energies. There was judgment. There was judgment called in the heavens for these energies. Judgment called. And this is all the, this is the, uh, the community looking up looking up and this is what's guaranteeing the success this is why they are so happy this is why this is so celebrated this time is so celebrated because they're showing me that you're going to be growing your abundance with this four of pentacles where you were having to protect protect your money to fight fight back where they're trying to steal your money steal your energy steal your power um they're showing me where you're going to be really safe and strong with the, the strength the strength it's a to stand up to this lion, the strength to look your, your enemies in the face and say, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I won't take your battles on anymore. Maybe you're, maybe we've been thinking too hard about this. Maybe the, the thoughts were too much. This is strength through those thoughts. This inner turmoil within your mind. This, uh, of this walking away, of this Eight of Cups, of these walking away things that never, that don't serve you anymore. You're having strength over the inner thoughts now. That's what they're showing me. Michael, Micah, I'm hearing the name Michael or Micah. Michaela. Adelaide, Adelaide again is here. Divination, beyond the veil, because we are piercing beyond the veil now. Maybe you were doing divination uh, to get messages from these loved ones. They're showing me the inner circle for strength. These divinations are bringing you strength. The scene beyond the veil is giving you strength. The inner circle, the community that you are going to, the success, they're showing you the witches' brooms. Maybe you're creating a circle of witches, a circle of of like-minded individuals, of, of other witchy, magical people. Or this could be just your spirit guides and animals all around you, spirit animals around you that are protecting you in this time, giving you strength. I do feel you are divinely protected. As you were seeing beyond the veil and you're able to, uh, you're able to divine now, you're able to see more. Because they're showing me the unicorn horn and the third eye chakra, crown chakra. 
strong crown chakra, strong third eye. Change. Circle around the moon. Change. Maybe you're seeing this circle around the moon as you're gazing up. There's great change happening on the earth now from all the frequencies, all the, the radi <laughs> radioactivity, all the, the crazy information coming in from the Schumann resonance, from the sun, from these light beings around the earth. Recklessness. It's giving you resurrection. It's resurrecting you out of the res recklessness. Maybe there was something in your past that you're having to for face judge uh, form judgment on, pass judgment on whatever this fight was for money. And I was, I had the cards come up for um, letting go of resentments about money came up in the last group. So again, you could have some messages there. I've seen two other references here for that group. I'm wanting some Woodland Wardens now. Inspiration. There is inspiration that's coming through or has come through that has moved you out of this recklessness. That's resurrecting you. That's changing who you are. Now, I'm feeling with some of these, this were like the things that, um, where you persecuted yourself or crucified yourself, told, and I'm hearing a lot of it was all um, with these thoughts, these thoughts. Now, maybe some of these thoughts, because I'm feeling with this, I'm also feeling some addiction here. I'm feeling some addiction, some, uh, something that was holding you back, something printed on your soul. They're showing me magic, because they're, they're showing me the pentagram. He's just got a cross, but they're showing me like a pentagram, like burned in, like some sort of magic. Um, there could have been magic worked on on you or perhaps uh, magic in substances that you were taking. Something that was trying to bind you. There was some sort of uh, sorcery. Sorcery, take this how it resonates. This is for someone in particular, for a few someones. There was a fiery inspiration that came through. Salamander and black pepper, it's burning all of that away. It's burning all of it away activating your body with this black pepper, activating it. And this is why you were feeling, um, I see recklessness. You were feeling reckless. I'm hearing restless though. I'm hearing restless. You were feeling restless. And when I said that I pulled out dreams, restless in your dreams, there's some fire burning away. Whatever is keeping you restless in your dreams, burning away this last. Now they're showing me the sorcery. They're showing me like a matrix. They're showing me there's like a web, like a network, like a something inside of you lines, tangled, um, take this how it resonates. It's different for different people. Words don't want to come out as much. There is sorcery involved for some of this. Um, this is what's being burnt out right now through these dreams. They came in in poppy. They're showing me the poppy is healing this opiate. For some of you, this could be, uh, addiction to opiates because I was saying addiction and then I said opiate, but this poppy is healing. It's healing you in dreams. These dreams are help this okay this fire is coming through in the dreams to burn this out so you might be having bad dreams right now if so this is a call to use some passion flower or lemon balm or some poppy some poppy or some uh um cannabis to to soothe yourself before sleep and this is going to help through this process it says it's taking you it's giving you confidence Whatever's burning away that's restructuring right now, that's giving you confidence, this confidence is going to help you bring in your abundance. Because every time I see this card, this boar and pumpkin, this is like a this is like the harvest. This is like you have this confidence, so you'll be able to harvest this abundance. I need to check my time here real quick. Okay. I saw one, two, three, seven. So the age 37 or three, seven could have some meaning or the one, two, the one, two. So this could be something, someone had a birthday in December or January, January 2nd or on the 12th. But they wanted me to, to go ahead and tell you about these numbers here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more charms for this three of cups card. Music. I've got a guitar. Somebody's making music. Someone may be celebrating with music. This is bringing you strength. Listening, playing, creating, it's bringing you strength. You are watched over and divinely protected right now. It says made for an angel. Made for an angel. You are an angel. This was made for you. This, this music that's bringing you strength, it's helping you to celebrate, it's bringing you to this success. It's bringing you to this success. Oh, 
Okay, Spirit. Highest light and love. Angels and loved ones. You may use me as a vessel. Any more messages that would like to come through for group number two? I'm hearing the name Cece, Carrie, seeing a lot of C's, Lucy, MC, Emmy, Esmeralda, Juan, Tyrone, Empress. Empress energy. You are moving to this Empress energy, this knowing that everything can just flow to you. I feel an Empress energy here as well as a passed on loved one. This could be a grandmother or a mother. This could have been a sister. There's a beautiful uh, feminine, divine feminine energy here that wants to get a message out. Hold on, I have to find the right cards. Where's the cards they want? Here we go. Fulgurite and Rose Bay Willow Herb Regeneration. They're helping you to regenerate. This is acceleration change in shamanic wisdom. So this mother, this grandmother, this, this sister, this divine feminine energy that is here, they're helping you through this time to heal they're helping through this accelerated change. They say you're bringing in these Empress codes and helping you to get this shamanic wisdom and change. They're accelerating this, accelerating this change, accelerating this ascension, accelerating this process, this process. This is the fire for those of you that are having the nightmares, for those of you that are having trouble sleeping, it's the fire. It's this acceleration to burn out this, to resurrect you, to become new. This is the diamond ray light body. You're getting a diamond high frequency, high frequency light body activation. High frequency activations and planetary grid work is happening right now. Now you might be doing this grid work yourself. Or it could just be that the places you are going are highly activating. You might not even know. You could be tapping into a crystalline grid in meditation. The 5D crystalline grid is what I'm hearing. Um, and you might be meditating with diamond light codes, but there is a diamond light body activation that's happening, high frequency activations. You're ready for these higher frequencies. And that's because you've had this sort of truth come through. The blue kyanite and honeysuckle, this sort of truth, this new information, this new beginning. Freedom, warrior of light, stop holding yourself back because this is bringing you to freedom. This is why it's a new beginning, this new information. Because you are a warrior. That's what I was saying when I saw this. You are a warrior. We're chosen, you are a warrior. Honeysuckle, it's going to be bringing a lot of sweetness and fertility. I'm feeling fertility in the spring. Sweetness and fertility in the spring from you spreading your truth, spreading your light and love and spreading your truth. This is speaking. This is coming from the mouth. This is coming from the throat chakra. This is strong throat chakra activation. I am feeling. Celia. I hear the name Celia. And I'm hearing the name Willow. Well, they're showing me from the thing, but I heard the name Willow. Now this could be a person, this could be a place, this could be a pet, this could be a movie. <laughs> if you guys watch, it says shine your light. Shine your light. 44. 44. You're going to mastery. Sacral chakra. Now you could be 44. This could have been an important year for you. Sacral chakra core of creation. And 54. Trust your innocence. Trust your innocence. Stand in your strength. And I feel, I also feel there is an innocent spirit around you now. There's a lover. There's a lover here. A loved one. A great loved one. There's a divine, there's a strong divine feminine, grandmother, sister. They're taking you on a journey. There's been a sacral chakra activation or healing that's been going on, which is what's taking you on this journey to this core of creation. Connecting you to the core of creation, it's taking you. This is why they're so, they're excited. They're so excited you're going on a trip. You're going to be going somewhere. This is this planetary grid work. 
as well that they're showing me. You're going to be getting into nature more. This is going to be creating you to cause, <laughs> causing you to create more abundance. Energizing you to create more abundance. Maybe you'll be connecting to the trees more as well. Trust in your innocence. They're showing me Sailor Moon uh, as you being this beautiful star child. And I was saying Lily in the beginning. So see these beautiful lilies. I feel, I feel a very innocent lily here as well. Very innocent lily. Shine your light. We've got some strong mermaid energy here. Some strong ties to Lemuria. Uh, I'm hearing Lemurian angels. So we've got some Lemurian angels here. And I think these are multi-dimensional beings. So just take that out. It resonates. They're just saying angels because that's easy to understand. <laughs> Give me some moonology cards now. Oh, I've been reading forever. Now, now I've been reading forever. 1951. All right, we're going to get you guys one of these moonology cards and we're going to go ahead and close out this reading. It says, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. And I feel like it could have to do with these lovers. It could have to do with this resurrection card. Uh, the, the dreams. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. And a personal issue re res reaches resolution. <laughs> All those R's blending together. A personal issue re reaches resolution. I'm so tongue-tied with this. What is going on? <laughs> Maybe somebody like tongue twisters. Okay, so this is the Cancerian energy. And we've got an Aquarian energy here. I feel this is a very emotional and not necessarily feminine, but very, I feel the strong wisdom here. I feel the strong wisdom from the angels being poured out upon you and it says bring love into this situation and this personal resolution will, will reach resolution. I know there's a new beginning and you're standing strong. You're standing strong. There is a walking away. There's a lot of activations happening right now. Um, this is a bring love into the situation. Use that higher heart. Always bring love into it. If you're upset, maybe bring love into it and try to see it from a different perspective. And this is going to help these personal issues reach these resolutions. Okay? And now I'm seeing the full moon and I'm seeing the new moon. So we just had a new moon. Um, and then we're going to the full moon. So I feel like this full moon, uh, this, this resolution should be happening around this full moon. Now, take this how it resonates. This could be next month for some of you. But I do feel like we've been look I've been looking up at the moon and the little sliver of the moon in the sky. It's so strange, it looks like it's not moving and it's there in the night and the day. <laughs> I I wonder what's going on. I, I haven't figured that out just yet, but maybe someone knows. I thought that was very interesting what the moon is doing out there. But I do feel this is a call um, for that in particular. Again, let me know how this resonates. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, let me know, again, how it resonates so I can hear from you guys in the comments. Uh, my soul family, star family, I'm sending you guys so much light and love and I'll talk to you soon. Hello, and welcome to group number three. If you chose card number three, or image number three, you chose this beautiful image. And I'll go ahead and put that up on my phone. Here we go here. Y'all please don't mind the little <laughs> Cosmic Tree Sage video that's playing in the background. I'll put the link for that below in the description if anybody wants that. And now I'm gonna go ahead, group number three, and tap into your messages. From heaven. Group number three, I feel that you have really expanded in light recently as they brought me up, 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 and then they have light all around me. So perhaps there was a new crown chakra activation, but I feel you were very connected to heaven. And I feel like heaven is very much surrounding you with light in this time. You may feel like you're floating sometimes, or you may feel this light. You may feel, you may see this light coming into you from the heavens, from these divine beings, from these angelic beings that are surrounding you. But you are divinely protected. But you came here for a purpose, and they're here to help you forward on this path. These angels, you were so surrounded by angels. They're telling me you are an earth angel. They're showing me the card now, and they're showing me all the little twigs and the hairs connecting to the tree of life, connecting to Mother Nature. 
a very strong shamanic connection to Mother Nature. This could be tribal. I feel there are ancestors here as well. Great ancestors from far, far back in time. There could be close ones here, but I'm feeling some ancient ancestors. I'm feeling very tribal. Very tribal, ancient ancestors. And I'm also feeling that gypsy energy here again. Music. This is why music is so important to you. This is why music lifts your soul. This is why music carries you places. Because of your past, because of your ancestors and who you are. Because of the shamanic wisdom in your bloodline. You have all this luck right now. As you were divinely protected and connected to the tree of life. I'm looking at the symbols now. I think these are all the things I was seeing as I was channeling though. I feel that there are new spirit guides coming in for you again. There could be new animal spirit guides. That was the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about. I'll tell you guys about it now. Because you see the turtle, the pathfinder, showing you your way forward and giving you this strength, right? This strong energy of manifestation and growing abundance because they're showing me the green showing me the green. Now I was talking about getting new spirit guides and I'm so excited. I wanted to talk about this in the beginning, but this has come up now. To have Monty the Python is now in my room since I have moved. Monty the Python is my roommate and I am so happy to have my sweetest little Monty Python butterball baby in my room. He makes me so happy. It's like I have my own personal dragon. And I love this because we're going into the year of the wood dragon and his enclosure is all wooded and uh, beautiful and it just makes me so happy. So I was talking about you guys possibly getting a new spirit animal, a new totem animal, a new animal animal, you know, uh, that's, that's help, here to help you spiritually. And this happened to me as well. So I was so excited and I wanted to share that with you guys. But I know a lot of you are getting animals that are going to be helping you spiritually. These are gifts, gifts, beautiful gifts from the universe. Beautiful star being gifts. That's what they're showing me. Now they're wanting me to get some cards. I feel a beautiful energy in this group. Beautiful energy. Well. Okay. They want me to take all of them, so we will. I had four cards come out. We have the Hierophants. We have the moon, we have the sun, and we have justice. Oh, wow. Wow. Now take this how it resonates. Not everyone is on the twin flame journey, but I'm seeing a very prominent for the divine partnerships, for the twin flames, for the soulmates, this sun and the moon. There was a strategic force in place that was keeping you from each other. And this is justice for those unions. Now for some of you that are not in divine union or part of this twin flame community, this is the sun and the moon energy combining within you. So this is the mystery and the feminine and the joy and the energy and the masculine combining within you. It's creating this hierophant in yourself of you seeing without the structures and becoming the spiritual master. And this is justice for you. This is justice. And hearing the name Abby, I'm seeing moon. I don't know what Abby moon means. China Moon. I'm hearing China Moon. And I'm feeling a very Piscean, Aquarian energy here with this Moon card. I'm feeling a Divine Feminine rising from all the mystery that she has soaked up through this Moon, this Moon energy. Rising and manifesting. Manifesting and coming to joy. And this is justice. This is justice from these structures. This is the this is uh, God. This is God coming down to bring justice. Temperance. Have patience with yourself in this time. As there are energies that you are going through, it says calm the germing waters of emotion and float above life's troubles with serenity. So maybe things have been a little turbulent. Maybe there's some anger popping up or these are little things that are being purged out still if this is what's happening. 
emotions, emotions. You might be hit everywhere with everything all at once, all these emotions at once, and you're not sure why they're there or why you're feeling them. And it's just to float above them, float above them. Float above life's troubles with serenity. None of this really matters to you. What does any of that matter to you? You are a mortal divine being. You are this beautiful earth angel. So rise above it because you have somewhere special to go. They're telling me. You wanted me to get some more charms. Okay. So we've got this another butterfly. You have somewhere special to go. I feel like it's this divine partner that's waiting for you because I could see the partnership here. So this is the divine partner or community that is waiting for you. There are keys. There are keys that have just come in. You have gotten new keys. We've got the key to body, mind, and spirit. We've got the triskelion key. I'm feeling some Nordic wisdom here. And I'm feeling some African wisdom as well. And Irish. So I've got some keys coming in from these different ancestors. Keys possibly through your DNA. So these could be activated in your DNA. It's actually helping take you to this partnership. So there's been some new activations, new keys that have come in that's helping to rise you up. That's giving you wings to get out of whatever situation it is, to give you wings to get out of those emotional situations. So rise above, float above, rise above. Use your Pegasus wings and rise above with serenity. It's taking you to this comfort. It's taking you to ultimate peace and comfort within. I'm hearing the names Michael and Jason, Jake, again, Abby. The tower, there were some tower moments. I actually, I feel with these, this is amazing. These are these activating tower moments, these tower, this um, activations that are coming in that are energizing you. It's it's breaking away all those old structures and thoughts. You're just they're just falling away from you. They're just falling away. The ten of coins. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Look at this beautiful ten of coins energy. It's taking you to ultimate fulfillment and financial fulfillment. This tower. This tower. The seven of cups. You have all these possibilities. There might have been some that were. Um, that were illusion. And that's what this tower is coming through to energize, to knock those away. It's knocking away all the illusion. It's knocking away all the illusion. And that's what's taking you to the Ten of Coins. So whatever these uh, feelings are that's coming up, these things that you have to float above, that's what's knocking away these, these energizing moments that are happening right now. That's knocking away these illusions. Knocking away these false realities. And I'm seeing, I'm, I'm getting a name that starts with a T. Maybe Tammy, Tanisha, Terrence. I'm hearing Abigail again. Abigail is very prominent. Abigail wants to be heard. Please, <laughs> please let me know if you've heard, if you have a loved one named Abby or if there's someone named Abby here. Prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. To go with this, I'm feeling Virgo energy, Taurus energy. This beautiful nurturing. I'm feeling Freya. I'm feeling, uh, oh, I can't think of the name right now. That's okay. There's other, there's other nature goddesses that are coming through in this. So I've got some nature goddesses energy, nature goddess energy coming through is what they're showing me. It's a slow down, steady, steady pace. Uh, you don't have to rush. Everything's just gonna come to you. You are this strong bull, so you don't have to ever be afraid. Um, you just walk wherever you want to go and everything with prosperity is just going to come, this 10 of coins, as you are, as these illusions are falling away. I'm hearing Virginia. I'm. Yeah, I'm getting a very Virgo energy and I'm hearing Virginia step out of your comfort zone, North Node. 
Now my next, my next reading has a North Node as one of its major cards, and I feel you're going to have some messages there from Archangel Metatron. They're saying to step out of your comfort zone and follow your North Node. Stepping out of your comfort zone is what's taking you here. Have patience with yourself. Rise above any of those emotions that are coming out right now. Your North, North Node is your life path, and I really feel like you're following your life's path now, or at least you're going, or you're going to be soon. I'm hearing the name Marcus, and I'm hearing also hearing the word Marcusite, so like the the stone. So maybe somebody really liked Marcusite, um, or the Marcusite is energizing. I know Marcusite trans it energizes and transforms, and it also cleanses out impurities and negativity. Marcusite is actually pretty incredible. Maybe somebody has jewelry with Marcusite on it, or I know I used to have one with an evil eye. I used to have a pendant that had Mar evil eye pendant that had Marcusite on it. So again, there could be some sort of evil eye coming toward you, or maybe you need to use the evil eye, or they, there's some sort of enchantment. So this is what I was holding the enchantment as I was talking about the Marcus site. Perhaps you are creating some sort of enchantment, and maybe you are needing to have patience with that, have temperance and patience as this enchantment is taking you to the North Node. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful enchantment. This sweet scent, this feminine energy... For some of you, it's coming out of enchantment. Coming out of enchantment. But I too feel like you're going to be enchanting. I, they're showing me the pony card again and the, the leaves. And they're showing me the, uh, the flowers as having flowers in your hair and just being perfectly in nature. And again, I'm seeing the nature goddess. I'm getting those nature goddess vibes. Communication. There's some incoming communication. There's going to be some incoming communication. And these were led. Uh, these are led by your ancestors. These are led by these um, these passed on loved ones. These angels that are watching over you. There's some incoming communication um, that's going to be coming from some another being on here on Earth. That this is what they're leading you to. They're they're wanting you to pay attention to this incoming communication. There's some protection coming through. You are divinely protected, but I feel like in this communication, there's some protection coming through and some luck and tranquility in letters. Maybe you're writing somebody. Maybe you're writing letters back and forth to someone. Just grabbing some more cards here, guys. Let me check our time. 1425, one, uh, 1-4 one, could have some meaning for you, or uh, the 14th could be a date, someone's birthday, the 25th, or someone was 25, someone could have been 14. You're showing me the owl and hop wisdom. There is wisdom coming in with these communications. The owl is very prominent right now, I am feeling. For me, I have my little owl totem right here my little owl baby watching over us but this wisdom there's new wisdom coming in this wisdom could be coming through in dreams or in your meditative state because they're showing me with the hops and the relaxing maybe somebody's drinking a lot of beer too they're showing me the hops this beer could actually be relaxing you with a raccoon and sycamore there's some curiosity here some curiosity so whatever you've been curious about, there's new wisdom coming through. Or perhaps you're gaining new wisdom through your curiosity. I also feel that this raccoon is being productive and capable of, of creating things. I feel that you are good at creating things. Maybe you can fiddle around with things and just make them work. I feel that you're going to be creating something new. You're very ingenuitive. And I'm hearing like an engineer able to create things with an engineering mind maybe a uh, cosmic engineer this could be a past life and they're wanting me to get some fairy cards now now of course you would be very connected to the fairies group number three with this this uh earth goddess energy this earth goddess energy around you hope hope there Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. 
Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. So there is something that's been bothering you. You might have messages in group number two. Um, so you're being encouraged to, to rise above. This is what I'm going to tell you. Here it is. Float above life's troubles with serenity. There is hope. There's hope right now. These these uh, these activations, these tower moments are coming through, moving away this, uh, they're, they're eliminating, eliminating this illusion. And you're going to be going on a journey. Again, you might have messages in group number two. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Y'all, I've been needing to get my passport ready. So this is just a call for me. <laughs> it's, it's just a journey. There's a journey coming. There's a journey. So be ready. It may be planned or unplanned. Maybe you're planning it. And I want a Spirit of the Animals Oracle card just to close out your reading for you. Group number three. They're showing me this card that fell on the floor. And as I said that, the other card came out. Yes, greatness. There is a card that fell on the floor. Risk, reward, belladonna. Maybe you're weighing this risk and reward right now. This is greatness. Greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. And that is a beautiful message. They're showing me the bottom of the deck with this moose for wisdom. So we've had wisdom come in quite a few times with the owl and the moose. It says, let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded in the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom of your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. So this is just a call to let you know your ancestors are speaking through you. Your ancestors are speaking through you. I did feel the ancestors very strongly here. They are speaking through you. You know much. This is a beautiful, beautiful message, you guys. Please let me know how it resonates because I love hearing from you guys in the comments, my soul family, star family. I'm sending you guys so much light and love and I'll talk to you soon.